Okay, today we want to show a little program here to search uh, files on the on your hard drive and to show them and to give it a chance to open them. Uh, in this example we will search for PNG files. So this is the graphic user interface and when I click on search you gotta wait a moment that the search uh, will end and so at the end you will see down here and here are all your files that could be a very very long list as you can see and we don't have any um, anything here that any rulers here and we may do it if you double click on something you will see uh, pop up the the image with the uh, with your default browser with your default application to open the file as I said these are all uh, PNGs and you can see here that you got the, the um, all the path in into it so let's see how we did it let's um, let's make a new file and save it with tutorial search dot dot pi. So the third thing we gotta do is to import the Kinter as TK. So we give it this uh, shortcut for the Kinter, then we import OS our module for the operating system. Then we define the search search files um, and function and then we, we will have for r d n f in os dot work because you know that um, you know that os work makes you iterate through all the files from a directory and into all its subdirectory and it returns the root directory from um, from uh, which it starts the um, the it returns the uh, a list of the directories that are in uh, uh, the root and the files that are in the root then it goes on uh, looking into all the the subdirectory and and for that it looks also for all the other files in those uh, subdirectories so now we want to go and look for every file in in f so in the list of files so the last um the last um thing that uh, os work returns uh, it's the it's a list of files so now we iterate for every files in uh, every subfolders and we will go and do if file dot ends with extension so now we will put extension here when we call this function and we will also pass a folder so that we will put the folder in OS work because we need to start from somewhere and okay for if file ends with folders we will uh, insert the subfolder into a list box that we will see later from zero with uh, we will insert the, the root or the path with the um, with the slash and with the name of the file so this is practically it's the path then we need to add a slash and the file name okay now let's create the the guy for graphic user interface for that will show all the files we will create a window with k.tk we will give it a geometry so that it will be 400 for 400 at the start and then we will make a button that is decay dot um, 
button belonging to the root and uh, with the text equal and search and with a command that is equal we will use a lambda an anonymous function uh, that we call search files search files the function that we created just before and we will uh, as a extension we will use png we want just um, we want just uh, png files in this case and we will look into the hard drive h or c or what whatever you want to look into and then we will have bit.pack and we will also add here a bt text equal done at the end it will show this then we wanna that okay this is good here this one then we need a list box where we want to show the the files that is list box and goes into a root and then we wanna show the the list box with pack and we wanna make it fill all the space in the window so we will fill both and expand when the window expands equal one when it will resize the window and then we need to um, bind uh, this this list box so that we we double click on uh, on one of the file it will open and so double button here okay will be uh, another lambda function with an x here and open open file when we double click and then we will end the the loop with root dot main loop so now we need just to define the open file function to do something when we double click on the f on the files in the list so we will do os start file lb dot get we want to get the lb dot core selection so the current selection and we need just the the first data in this core selection to open the files corresponding to the uh, selection into the list let's see there it is I've just made here a typo and okay let's go search okay extension extension I made another typo here let's go back here and click search now I think it's working because it's in a sort of pose and here it is it is done its work and if you go here and sorry I get another typo somewhere here open let's do it again let's search it and now I should be able to to see this winter image here or, or this one okay we get different images I used and that's that's pretty oh so you have now all your images that are a lot if you can see how much they are they are thousands of images and it made it in a couple of seconds and now I just can go here for example and to look at this image or this other one and I got all the path in here so this is a very little program but that does a lot of useful stuff you can change code here to to change the type of file that you want to search for you should add add here an entry and maybe in the next post in another video we will do it thank you for your attention and if you want subscribe to my channel so that I'm encouraged to make new videos on other subjects like this with Python and Kinter and other stuff thank you